Hi friends, it is Friday, October 6th, and I know you're not probably used to seeing me here midweek, um, but I've been getting some questions about what the fall colors are looking like right now here in California's Eastern Sierra. So after Monday's overview post, I wanted to stop at a few of my favorite spots and share the colors as they are right now in case you're planning a visit for this weekend or next week. So come join me. Our first stop is a famous California spot, and this is North Lake. Now what's interesting is the colors are not peaking. There are hints of red higher up, but it's still a fairly green. Um, the drive up has some gorgeous yellows though, and uh, I think it would be great to visit, but don't expect it to be peaked this weekend. If you take the hike around North Lake, you might notice a few areas where the leaves are already starting to fall and disappear. Uh, however, much of the lake is still green or just turning yellow. Perhaps because of last weekend's storm, the cold weather and the winds, it seems there's an uneven shift in the colors this season. However, let me show you, this is what the colors looked like last year when North Lake was peaking. And hopefully in the coming week, we will get some of these vibrant gold colors here. The drive to North Lake is beautiful, and there are definitely some golden aspen as you approach the parking area. And please remember, as you make this drive, it is a gravel road on the cliffside, so drive responsibly and respectfully as you head to the lake. Driving away from North Lake, we're heading towards Lake Sabrina Road, and the colors are stunning along this drive right now. And we're gonna make a stop at one of my favorite places, the Middle Fork Bishop Creek area, where the colors are still developing, but rich and yellow. Continuing on the paved road next to Bishop Creek, you'll enjoy the golden colors and soon you'll reach Lake Sabrina. Now, right now, the water is so clear. You can see the fish swimming beneath you and the fall colors are starting to pop in pockets of orange, yellow, and gold here. As you head back on the 168, there are beautiful pockets of aspen that are turning. And if you look in the distance, you can see the waterfall still flowing down from the North Lake area. Aspendale is a bit of a shifting fall environment. On one end, it's still very green, but as you continue up towards the higher elevations, you see the colors turning yellow and gold. The small lake of Intake 2 is another prime example of an area that's having an uneven shift in colors. From above, you can see the gorgeous yellows and oranges. However, there are some pockets around this lake that have already peaked where the leaves are falling. If you head towards the picnic and camping area, you'll see some beautiful aspen colors. And I think if you visit right now, you'll be impressed by the leaves. Next, let's head to the South Fork Bishop Creek community. And you can see along the road, mist falls in the distance, which is surrounded by some beautiful yellow colors. The drive along South Lake Road is a personal favorite of mine. And right now you are surrounded with beautiful fall colors here. In my opinion, some of the most picturesque views of the Aspen are found here along the edge of the creek. It's wonderful to enjoy the bubbling water and the aspen swaying in the breeze. It's no wonder the road leading to South Lake has long been a favorite with fall photographers from the bubbling waters of the South Fork Bishop Creek to the beautiful snow-capped mountain peaks in the distance. This is one of my favorite must-stop spots on any fall Eastern Sierra adventure.
our last stops of today are taking us through Round Valley to the Pine Creek Canyon area. As you begin this drive, everything is still looking very green, but as you continue, there are pockets of yellow to be seen. While you're not seeing the incredible autumn hues quite yet, this is one of my favorite Pine Creek Canyon spots, and this is what it should look like hopefully in a few weeks when the colors really start to peak here. Even though it looks like Pine Creek Canyon is gonna need at least another week or two for the colors to really develop, it's a beautiful October 6th here. For more details on all of the spots I've shared today, make sure to see my most recent blog post and I'm gonna link the full Eastern Sierra YouTube video right here where I share over two dozen fall spots that I've visited over the past four years. I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me today to check out the fall colors as they are showing up right now. I know this isn't my normal content, so don't worry. I will be back Monday with a new blog post and a full YouTube video from a fun spot to see the fall colors. Um, if you did enjoy this post, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until Monday, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.